Welcome to your Tesla. Congratulations, you now drive one of the safest, most advanced, and most fun cars on the planet. Thank you for your part in accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy. Sure, your Tesla is an ever-improving supercomputer on wheels, but it's really easy to use. First, you should know that there's an on-screen owner's manual that contains everything there is to know about your car and how to use it. If you ever have a question or want to learn something new, simply pull up the owner's manual on the touchscreen. Tap the Tesla T centered at the very top of the screen. This brings up information about your car. Tap the words owner's manual within this window and then navigate to a topic. To close this or any other window, tap the X in the upper corner or simply tap outside of the window. Tesla owner's manuals are available online too, so you can check them out anytime. Just search for them. Your phone is your Tesla's key. We call it phone key. Clever name, huh? Phone key wirelessly communicates with your car over Bluetooth. So even when you're somewhere without cellular connectivity, your phone will function as the key. Open the Tesla app, sign in with your Tesla account credentials, and you can see your car and any other Tesla products that you have. To set up phone key, you need to use one of your backup key cards. So let's cover them first. These backup key cards are here in case your phone dies or you need to hand your Tesla to a valet. You should always keep one with you wherever you keep your driver's license. To unlock your Tesla using the key card, press it against the driver's side door pillar below the camera, like this. Do the same to lock the car. To power on your Tesla so you can drive it using the backup key card, place it here behind the front row cup holders and press the brake. These icons flash and park, reverse, neutral, and drive appear, indicating that your Tesla is ready to drive. You can now move the key card and shift to drive or reverse. While you'll rarely use the backup key card, you do need it to set up phone key. Here's how. Make sure that your phone's Bluetooth is on and open the Tesla app. Select phone key and follow the prompts. The app will have you tap the key card against the door pillar or behind the cup holders to complete the setup process. Once your phone is activated as a phone key, if you approach your locked Tesla with the phone key on you, pulling a door handle instantly unlocks the car. Simply sit in the driver's seat with your phone in the car, buckle up, press the brake pedal, and you're ready to shift to drive or reverse. We recommend activating walk-away door lock. With this setting on, you can take entire trips without reaching for your phone. When you walk away with your phone, your Tesla will automatically lock. With walk-away door lock off, tap the lock button within the app to lock your Tesla. You can also use phone key to control the trunks and charge port over Bluetooth. This is in addition to the span of other Tesla app controls that use the internet connections of your phone and your car. Quick note on the front trunk. The hood is made of aluminum, so it's much lighter than those of traditional cars. To close it, set it down gently and then lean into it with your palms on each side of the Tesla T. Like this, it will click shut. Phone key works as long as the car you're using is the most recent product to be pulled up in the Tesla app. If you've most recently selected a different Tesla product, you'll need to select the car you want to use before phone key will work with that car. As long as the correct car is selected, there's no need to have the app open or your phone unlocked. Your phone just needs to be powered on with Bluetooth active. Speaking of Bluetooth, there's a separate Bluetooth pairing process to connect your phone to the car for calls and media. We'll cover that soon. You can manage phone keys and backup key cards on the touchscreen by selecting controls and then locks. If you've already found your way in, well done. The easiest way to open the door is to reach with your outer hand, press here with your thumb, and pull the handle. When you want to get out, press this button with your thumb. Tap here at the top of the touchscreen to create your driver profile so you can get comfortable and save your settings. Reach down to the side of your seat to adjust the seat bottom, seat back, and lumbar support. To adjust the position of the steering wheel, go back to the touchscreen. Use the left steering wheel control to adjust your steering column up, down, in, or out. Select mirrors on the touchscreen and then use the same left steering wheel control to adjust each side mirror. Select save once everything is set. 
your rear view mirror adjusts manually, like in any other car. It's a convenient opportunity to take a peek at how great you look in that driver's seat. You can readjust your steering wheel and mirrors at any time by selecting controls and then quick controls on the touchscreen, or by using voice commands. Adjust my steering wheel. These and many other settings save to your driver profile, so your Tesla will always be just how you like it, even if you're not the only driver. You can link your profile to your phone key, and your car will automatically adjust to you as you open the door. The steering wheel controls can do much more than adjusting your driving position. Spin the left scroll wheel to adjust the volume of media for a phone call. Press this control in to pause, play, mute, or unmute audio. Push it right or left to skip between tracks or radio stations. The right scroll wheel is primarily for cruise control. We'll cover that in more detail soon. Pressing in this control initiates a voice command. You can ask your car to do just about anything, and it's constantly learning new commands. Press, release, and then say a command once you hear a chime. Navigate to Tesla headquarters. Show the backup camera. You can also tap here on the touchscreen for voice commands. Play Rocket Man by Elton John. Uncommon issues that would require a service visit in a traditional vehicle can be resolved in a matter of seconds using a trick in your Tesla. Press in and hold both steering wheel controls until the touchscreen turns black. Then, lift off the controls and wait a few seconds for the screen to reset. Your turn signal stock is right where you'd expect it. Press it up or down gently for three flashes. Press it all the way up or down to fully engage your turn signal. Unlike most other cars, the stock will return to its central position while your signal is on. A sufficient change in steering angle will turn off the signal like in any other car. To disengage it manually, gently press the stock in either direction. Pull the turn signal stock towards you to flash your high beam headlights. Push it away from you to turn on your high beams. With auto high beams activated from the touchscreen, your car will do its best to automatically dim the brights when oncoming traffic is detected. You can also set your windshield wipers to operate automatically when rain is detected. Your car really works to make your driving as easy as possible. To manually initiate a single windshield wipe, lightly press the button on the end of the turn signal stock. This also brings up the windshield wiper controls on the touchscreen, so you can select between intermittent low and high, continuous slow and fast, and automatic. Pressing in the wiper button all the way will wash the windshield. Use the right stock on the steering column to select between drive modes. With your foot on the brake pedal, press firmly up for reverse, firmly down for drive, and lightly in either direction for neutral. Press in the button on the end of the stock to put your Tesla in park. The parking brake is automatically applied whenever your car is in park, so there's no extra step when you're somewhere steep. Also, once your car is in park, you can get out. There's no engine to turn off. Your Tesla powers off automatically when you get out and close the doors. One last notable physical control is above you. Press here for your hazard lights. Just about everything else can be operated using your voice or the touchscreen, which we'll cover next. The touchscreen works much like a smartphone. It displays and controls just about everything in your Tesla. The third of the screen closest to you presents the information that's most important while driving. Drive mode, current speed, and state of charge show at the top. Below is your driving visualization. This animates your Tesla's perception of its surroundings and gives readouts for active safety features like blind spot monitoring. Driver assistance features like auto steer are also indicated here. When your Tesla is in park, you can tap to open your trunks or charge port. Tap these icons to display the backup camera or charging menu, or to initiate a voice command from the screen. Tap here to view your windshield wiper controls. As a reminder, your windshield wiper controls also appear anytime you use the wipe button. 
Swipe left or right to toggle between what we call cards, which contain additional features and information. Up here is your status bar. Most of these icons are interactive. Tap the Bluetooth icon to connect your phone for calls and media. Bring up the Bluetooth menu on your phone, and then on the Cars screen, select Add New Device and Start Search. Once your phone's name appears, select it and wait for a prompt on your phone. Select Pair within the prompt, and you're connected. This fully interactive map serves as the backdrop for most of the screen. Explore by dragging, pinching, and rotating, just as you would on a smartphone. Tap to select a point of interest, or press and hold to drop a pin. These red pins are Tesla's supercharger stations, where you'll be charging on long-distance trips. You can always pull up these and other nearby charging locations by tapping here. Enter a destination here, or use voice commands. Navigate to SpaceX. If you need to charge to reach your destination, Tesla Trip Planner will automatically route you to superchargers along the way. Access more apps from the bar at the bottom of the screen. This is your app launcher, which contains most of them. The Media app is one touch away and can be moved so it displays below the map. You also adjust your climate from here. Just tap for front and rear defrosters, heated seats, or to turn on climate control and reveal the climate menu. Tap or slide to adjust temperature, or just tell your Tesla what setting you want. Set the temperature to 70. Press and hold here to turn climate control off, or again, just tell your car what you want. The climate menu houses many more controls. It's even where you position the airflow. Simply move it where you like right from the screen. This is pretty fun, so we're sorry to tell you that you'll probably only ever adjust it once. Your preferred airflow position saves to your driver profile, so even it's set exactly how you like it every time you're behind the wheel. Finally, tap here to bring up the controls menu where you can view and toggle numerous settings. You even open your glove compartment from here. One important point to note in the driving tab, regenerative braking. As you lift off the accelerator pedal, your Tesla will slow down while recapturing energy and returning it to the battery pack. You can see on the driving visualization that your brake lights turn on when regen causes significant deceleration. It maximizes efficiency and control, ultimately making it easier to drive. For many Tesla drivers, autopilot is the very best part of Tesla ownership. With autopilot in use, driving is more enjoyable and you arrive at your destination more relaxed. And as with so many aspects of your Tesla, over-the-air software updates ensure that autopilot gets even better and more capable over time. Autopilot consists of active safety and driver assistance features that make your car safer and more convenient to drive. We at Tesla are excited about the full self-driving future. Today, you must be fully attentive and have your hands on the wheel at all times while driving, regardless of what features are active. Let's walk through Autopilot's key features so you can give them a try. Safety is our number one priority in everything we do at Tesla. Not only is your car remarkably effective at keeping you and your passengers safe in the event of a collision, it also has active safety features that help you avoid collisions in the first place. You can review and toggle these features from the Autopilot menu by selecting Controls, and then Autopilot. Available driver assistance features vary depending upon the car's configuration. Be sure to look for them on the Autopilot menu so you know how your Tesla is equipped and so you can enable the features you'd like to use. If you learn about a feature from these videos that isn't on your Tesla, we might be able to add it via an over-the-air software update. Check the Tesla app to explore upgrades. It's easiest to think of Autopilot's driver assistance features as advanced versions of cruise control. Like when using traditional cruise control, you are always in charge of what your car is doing, and you need to be ready to take action at any moment. The features make your driving easier and more relaxing. We'll cover driver assistance features from simplest to most complex. Traffic Aware Cruise Control, or TAC for short, adjusts speed based upon the vehicle ahead of you. When TAC is available, a gray circle with a number in it appears here. That number is your set speed, the fastest your Tesla will travel when TAC is engaged. You can adjust set speed preferences and others from the Autopilot menu. Activating TAC is very simple. 
You don't need to enter a cruise mode like in other cars. When tack shows as available, simply press the drive stock firmly down once, like you're shifting to drive again. The gray circle turns blue, indicating that tack is active, so you can release the accelerator pedal. Your Tesla will travel at the set speed when the road is open, and will slow down as necessary for curves and traffic in your lane ahead. TAC responds to most objects, but can't recognize everything, so be ready to take over as needed. TAC does not attempt to slow for traffic lights, stop signs, or other traffic controls, unless your car is equipped with traffic light and stop sign control, and has this feature enabled. To change your set speed while driving, simply spin the right scroll wheel on the steering wheel, up or down. Push the scroll wheel right or left to adjust your following distance. To deactivate TAC, push the drive stock up or gently press the brake pedal. Auto Steer builds upon Traffic Aware Cruise Control by adding steering assistance. A gray steering wheel icon appears here when Auto Steer is available. Press the drive stock down twice in quick succession to activate Auto Steer. The steering wheel icon and the lane lines in the driving visualization turn blue. If TAC isn't already active, it will be engaged as well. TAC is always on when Auto Steer is on. As its name suggests, Auto Steer automatically moves the steering wheel to keep you centered in your lane. It does the work of constantly adjusting steering for you, so you can just lightly hold the wheel and scan your surroundings so you're ready in case you need to take over. You should know that Auto Steer spoils you. You don't realize how much effort you've been putting into keeping a car in its lane until you drive with Auto Steer for a few days. You'll never want to travel long distance or deal with traffic in another car again. Sorry about that. If your Tesla doesn't detect your hands on the steering wheel while using auto steer, it will prompt you to apply more force to the wheel. It's measuring a small amount of turning force or resistance from your hands, so light turning force will clear this prompt. If you repeatedly ignore these warnings, you're using auto steer unsafely and you will be locked out from using it for the rest of your trip. A larger amount of turning force will deactivate auto steer while leaving traffic aware cruise control on. To deactivate both auto steer and TAC, push the drive stock up or gently press the brake pedal. If your Tesla is equipped with auto lane change, a press of the turn signal while auto steer is on initiates an automatic lane change. Check your mirrors and blind spot as you would normally, press the turn signal stock lightly when there's space, and with your supervision, your Tesla will automatically move one lane over and continue to steer in the new lane. The hardware on new cars needs to calibrate before features like TAC and Auto Steer will be available. This one-time self-calibration usually completes within a couple hours of driving on well-marked roads. The gray icons won't appear until the required calibration has completed. Auto Steer also needs to be enabled from the Autopilot menu. As a reminder, more details about active safety and driver assistance features can be found in the on-screen owner's manual. This is your charging kit. Inside, you'll find your mobile connector, which allows you to charge your Tesla anywhere there's a power outlet. A standard 110 volt outlet charges your giant battery relatively slowly, so we don't recommend it as a primary charging solution. But it's nice to keep the connector in your car. You can also purchase adapters from Tesla that allow you to use your mobile connector with outlets that deliver more power. To charge with the mobile connector, first plug it into the outlet and then into your Tesla. A Tesla wall connector is the best home charging option. If you can, just top off every night at home. It takes two seconds to plug in, and your car likes to charge as often as is convenient. Here's how to plug in. Point the connector at your car and press here to open the charge port. You can also open it from the touchscreen, phone key, or by pressing on the charge port itself. The Tesla T illuminates in white, indicating that your car is ready to charge. Firmly plug the connector into the charge port, and the T will first turn blue to show that the car is preparing to charge, and then to a green pulse to indicate that it's charging. The green T pulses slower as charging approaches completion, and turns to a solid green when charging is done. To unplug, press and hold the connector button, and the T will turn blue and then white. Once it's white, simply pull out the connector and then release the button. Your charge port will close automatically. If the T is ever amber, this means that the connector couldn't be latched and likely isn't plugged in all the way. Unplugging and plugging back in more firmly usually clears this. 
A red T indicates that there's likely a fault with the charge source. Check your touchscreen for a fault message. Our incredibly fast supercharger stations have their own connectors that operate the same way. Supercharging costs more than local home charging, but always far less than the cost of gas. Supercharger sessions automatically bill to the credit card that you have on file. Say goodbye to the grimy gas station swipe. Tesla's expansive and rapidly growing international charging networks ensure that you can travel anywhere you like with ease today. We're happy that EV charging locations from other companies are also quickly spreading. There's an additional adapter in your charging kit that allows you to plug in at many of these locations, as well as at public and workplace EV charging stations. First, attach the adapter to the charging station's connector. Then, plug into your Tesla normally. When it's time to unplug, press and hold the button on the station's connector and grip the adapter with your other hand. Once the T turns white, remove the connector and adapter together. Then, be sure to take your adapter with you. You can use the charging menu on the touchscreen to schedule charging to take advantage of low-cost electricity and to set a charge limit. It's best to set a charge limit within daily for everyday driving. Simply adjust to within trip from your car or your phone the night before taking a road trip. There's a lot more that you'll learn about your Tesla as you spend time with it. In fact, the learning never ends. Your car gets better with time as new and improved features are added via over-the-air software updates. To ensure that you get these updates, it's best for your car to be connected to Wi-Fi whenever it can be. To join a Wi-Fi network, tap the connectivity icon on the status bar select the desired network, and join as you would with any other device. Your car will now automatically connect to this network whenever it's within range. When a software update is ready to install, a clock icon will appear on the status bar. Tap this icon to schedule installation. Your car isn't drivable while an update is installing, so it's often best to schedule it for while you're sleeping. When you wake up, you'll step into an even better and more capable Tesla, and you'll be greeted with release notes that walk you through what's new. You can always access the release notes from your most recent update in the Software tab within the Controls menu. Tap the Tesla T at the top of the screen. Here, you'll find the phone number for Tesla Roadside Assistance. You can simply tap it to call. It's a good idea to save this number in your phone. You can also request roadside assistance and view status updates on the Tesla app. We're here for you 24-7 if you're ever in need while out on the road. If you'd like to schedule a service appointment, you can do so right from the app as well. As a reminder, you can purchase upgrades for your car within the app too. Even more upgrades and accessories can be found on our website at shop.tesla.com. These and other instructional videos are available on your car's touchscreen whenever you'd like to brush up on your knowledge. Pull up the app launcher, select Entertainment, Theater, and then Tesla Tutorials. The detailed information in the owner's manual is always here on the touchscreen as well. It's even accessible with a voice command. Display Owner's Manual. The best way to learn is to start driving. Your Tesla is designed to be the safest, most convenient, and most fun car you've ever driven. Enjoy it. And thanks for accelerating the world's transition to sustainable energy.